Hi guys, welcome to Handy and Easy. Today we're in the backyard and we will be repairing this Roundup sprayer that is not pumping anymore. This is the problem I'm having. When I try to pump, no pressure is building and it's also very easy to, to push the handle as you can see here. And I don't know if you can hear it, but all of the air is coming out. So this means that something in the internal pump mechanism is not working properly and we have to fix it. A lot of people would throw this away, but before doing that, there is a very high chance that you can repair it by half of what a new sprayer would cost, just by analyzing what went wrong. You can even save more money if your sprayer has a larger size as mine. Mine is the smallest one gallon size, but if you have a version with more capacity and is more expensive, it will make total sense to repair it. So what happened with my sprayer? When I removed the pump, I found this small rubber part at the bottom of the tank. This is actually called a check valve and without it, the sprayer mechanism won't work. This part goes at the bottom of the pump, like this. It can also be that the small O-ring of the plunger inside this part broke and needs to be replaced. I will also show you in this video how to do it. But how can you prevent this from happening? In my case, I found out that I left a very small amount of vinegar inside the tank and due to its acidic composition it degraded and cracked the check valve as you can see here so as a lessons learned never leave any harsh chemicals stored inside this container now that we know what happened let's get started with the repair these are the tools and materials that we will be using first you will need a roundup uh, sprayer repair kit I bought this in Amazon and I'm leaving a link in the description below if you're interested. You will also need a flathead screwdriver, some Vaseline, and of course your old pump. From this package, uh, for my mold, we will only need the smaller gray gasket, the smaller O-ring, and finally the check valve. The first and easiest step will be to replace this gray gasket. In my case, uh, the gasket was in fair condition, but I'm going to replace it just for maintenance purposes. You just only have to, uh, to remove it uh, like this. And we will just install the new one. Now we'll be removing the plunger or piston that pushes all the air inside the container to build pressure. In order to do this, we'll have to take our flathead screwdriver and push on both of these tabs, as you can see here. So we'll push in and then push up. Again, for the other side, we'll push in and push up and then we will be able to remove the assembly. When we pull out the assembly, you will notice uh, that it has this ring. Just uh, disassemble it like this for now and we will be using it later. You can see here that my old ring uh, is in fair condition and nevertheless I'm going to remove it uh, for maintenance purpose. So, in order to remove it, we'll just take our screwdriver, insert it in one edge, and try to push it out. Like this. Now, we will take some Vaseline 
and with it we will lubricate our o-ring make sure to apply uh, plenty of Vaseline so that uh, it makes uh, a good seal and also it lubricates uh, the walls of the cylinder so we will just keep lubricating here and when you're ready just install it back again like this now we will reassemble uh, the ring with the tabs into the plunger back again just make sure that the tabs are pointing up like this and once you're ready just uh, take the cylinder and insert the plunger back again make sure that the tabs are aligned with the holes like this finally we'll be installing our check valve uh, back into the hole like this you just have to push a little bit and we're ready to go now we'll install the pump back again and see if it works so I, I can definitely feel that the pressure is building and I cannot not hear any air coming out so our repair was successful now we'll do a real life test to see if it worked so it's very easy to pump you can feel the Vaseline that is working and you can feel the pressure that is building now we'll take our wand and spray a little bit perfect it's almost as good as new so if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to handy and easy and as always have an excellent day